You're watching Southland Conference Softball on ESPN. It's a marquee non-conference matchup on a Tuesday in Thibodeau, Louisiana, as we welcome you to Swanner Field at Geo Services Park. The seventh-ranked LSU Tigers at 25 and four, visiting the 17 and 14 Nichols Colonels out of the first team all SEC a season ago. She bounces one towards short, and it is under the glove of Guazda. That'll likely go down as an E6. And LSU reaches. That's something you can't afford to do against an offense that LSU wins since. Briggs, a very good bunter, lays one down perfectly. Only play for Yo's to go to first base. And that's a good throw to get her by about half a step for out number one. Newland advances to second base as Briggs gets a sacrifice hit. In fact, they have six grads on the roster. And all of them are in the starting lineup. That's inside. Did it hit her? They say it did. Here's in the SEC. One two pitch. That's it sharply towards short. Backhand snag. Throw to third. Oh, they say safe. Krause couldn't get the foot down on the bag. A nice backhand stab by Guazda. Two two from Yoda Lynch. Chased a pitch that was going to hit her had she moved the bat out of the way. And they may actually call that strike three. I think they may. Three one, and that's popped up into left fields. Over for it, Champagne, and she's got it. And Molly Yo pulls the Houdini act in the first. No runs, no hits, couple errors. Three left on base. Nichols coming to bat. 3-0 from Chafin. And that's a four-pitch walk to start things off. Missed inside. So Cisco walks. And now Reagan. Here it is. That's sent out to deep left center field. Breaks back and makes the catch just on the warning track. Front number one. Now it is very hard to get a ball past Briggs. Even if you hit one that looks like it's going out of the park, and that's more of a... An 0-2 from Chafin. Chopper towards third, glove by McKee to second for one, back to first, got it! A double play, the 17th turn by LSU this season. They went to three straight, 2-2, two -two, and that one hit. Rudity, that's a second hit banner today for Malio. So another base runner for LSU decomp to prove. 1-1. One, one. That is a chopper right side. Gloved at second by Cisco. It only plays the first base. So they get the out there. Up to second into scoring position goes Rudity. One from Yo. On a 2-2. Two, two. And is slapped down the left field line. Fair ball. Around third base. Rudity. And she'll score. And LSU strikes first. It's an RBI double for Maddox McKee. Gets her second RBI of her true freshman season in Baton Rouge. And this is a really nice piece of hitting. Goes the opposite way. Just a little slap down the left field line. And McKee, who entering that at bat. Scoring position. Top of the order, Ali Newland. Grounder to short. Tough play for Guazda. And she throws around at first base to what? Coming here from Yo to Briggs. And that is drilled down to deep center field. It is gone. Sierra Briggs, a two-run blast. And LSU grabs a 3-0 lead. It's only her second home run of the season, but it produces a three-run second inning for LSU. In Briggs, and went four homers as a sophomore, two over the next couple of years each. Now gets her second in 2024. And is tied for the fourth most in LSU history. 3-1. And that's up and away. And Pleasance has reached twice. 
Gutierrez hits a soft one toward short on a hop. Guazda and a good rifle throw to first base to retire Gutierrez for the final out of the second. But LSU does. Chafin deals. That is out to left center field, dipping fast, and catch made by Allie Newlands for out number one. It's an LSU outfield that covers a whole lot of ground. We mentioned what Briggs can do, routine play there. This one is a little jam shot and foul ground and a diving catch by Carson. From Chafin, looking for her first strikeout. And it's a chopper to short. Pleasant's up with it on a hop. And it works perfectly into the glove of Gutierrez for out number three. A one, two, three, second inning for Chafin. She's retired five in a row, three nothing LSU. 3-0 is down low. That's another walk. Now that has been the problem early on, and I think the story of this game, yep. Yeah. It'll be a 1-1. Hard hit to second. This could be two. The flip for one. The turn by Guazda. Not in time. That's a very speedy penny down the line. So they get the force play at second. Firm, she did not go. Here's a 1-2. That's loop toward right field. It's down for a base hit. So just enough on that one from Rudity. She's reached both times up to bat. It's an LSU team that has had the ability to erupt at any moment this season. Out to right, shallow, and coming on to make the catch is Anderson. That's a big second out for Avery Payton. I'll say this, the contact has been significantly less this inning. And it'll be a 2-2. Up the middle and through for a base hit. No wave, Petty around third. She'll score, throw to third base, is in time. So Nichols gets the runner there in Rudity, but Penny scores on the RBI knock from McKee. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. And the first strikeout for Raylan Chief in one away in the third. That is six straight retired so far, yet to allow a hit. 1-2. Grounder right side, fielded by Gutierrez. Tags the bag herself. And there's two away in the third. That is seven straight retired for Raylan Chafin. Finn has retired seven in a row. 0-2, tipped into the glove of Carson. It's a two strikeout third inning for Chafin. She has set down the last eight she has faced in the last three games. 2-1, that's drilled out to right, but right at Abby Anderson. Hard to hit a ball much harder than Allie Newland just did. Nichols playing her perfectly and it's a run. One strike pitch. Slaps it toward the second baseman. Cisco has to hurry. Not in time. And there's the speed of Briggs. And she has shown the whole array offensively now times in her illustrious LSU career among LSU's leaders in a bunch of categories. 1-1. One, one. Runner goes. Throw is caught on a bounce on a backhand by the shortstop Guazda. Briggs off second, payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. So oh, she pulled the string that time. That is filthy stuff from Avery Payton to ring up her first strikeout. So now Raylene Gutierrez shoots it out to left field, right at Mackenzie Champagne. I'll tell you what, that's a job well done by Avery Payton. Working through the top four in the LSU order, not allowing a run. Chafin has faced the minimum still. Retired eight in a row. On a 1-1, that's on the hands, loop towards center field, Briggs on the run, makes the catch. It is so hard to get a ball down in front of her, past her. To the Leah and what she did in her time here, and of course, her sister as well. Chopper right side, Petty throws her out at first base. So Heflin is retired. And part of the problem here for Nichols, not just at the team. It'll be a 2-2 from Chafin. And is right down the middle, called strike three. She has set down 11 straight kernels and gets strikeout number three. Impressive stuff from Raylan Chief. Three one. And that is downstairs, ball four. Blake Charles. 2-2. Rocket shot in the right field and a base hit. First hit today for Penny. It's number six for the LSU offense. Field of the third. Nobody out top of the fifth already. 4-0. Popped up. 
Shallow center coming on Heflin makes the catch. One away. That's a big first out to get for Payton. Out to center field, hit very softly, and a nice running catch made by Claire Cisco. So from her second base position, range is over to make the play. 3-1. And walked her. And that means the bases are juiced for Allie Newlands. Payton and Newlands. Bases full, two outs in the fifth. Another 2-2, two -two, and she got her upstairs. A rise up and away. Big strikeout for Avery. Poche line to left her first down. 2-0. That's on the hands. Popped up. Left field. Charging in to make the catch is Newland for out number one. Coming from Raylan Chafin to Riley Rutherford. Here it is. And she hit her. Stops a string of 12 straight retired for Chafin. And the Colonels finally have their first. Pinch runner Sturm off first. Bottom five with one out. And the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Chafin. That is number four. 1-1 one, one pitch. Runner goes. Throw to second base is high. And there's a steal for Leyland Sturm. So they bring her on. Stole that second base bag a moment ago. Payoff pitch from Chafin to Champagne. And missed down low. She walked her. So a couple of base runners in this inning for Nichols. 0-1. That's it sharply down the left field line and foul grounds. And making the running catch is Newlands. That's an outstanding play by. Another payoff pitch is low. That was a 13 pitch at bat, one by Briggs. And she so far this year. That's hit sharply right into the glove of Gwazda short. <laughs> Another laser beam. And the Colonels right on it. On this team, three in total. 1-0, hit sharply. That's in the right field to base hit. Fielded by Anderson, tosses back in quickly. Good stop by Gwazda around second. She came on as a pinch runner. 1-0 is hammered. Deep left field. If it's fair, it is way gone. And it is. An absolute moonshot for a three-run blast for Michaela Walker. The sophomore from Marietta, Georgia, gets her first career home run with LSU. And the Tigers have blown it wide open, 7-0 in the sixth. Just inside the foul pole for Walker. Bats. What a moment for her. Hard hit ball towards second base. This is going to be a tough play at second for Cisco. And she can't get there in time to beat out Carly Petty, who reaches down to center field her last time. Out to deep center fields. Heflin drifts back and has it for out number two. And Avery Payton, before allowing that homer, had done a really nice job of limiting. Actually went down with a knee injury earlier last year. That pitch is low and no chance for Rutherford to throw to second base to try to get Petty. She's the year with the knee injury. Another piece Beth Torina can use. This one popped up to shallow center. Heflin has the final couple put out to the sixth. But LSU tacks on three more via the long ball. A three-run blast from Michaela Walker. Her first collegiate home run so far for Raylan Chafin. And that ends right there with a base hit to right field. And now Claire Cisco, someone on base via the hit, I should say. That is a fourth base runner. But here, Cisco, bare hand play, throw to first is in time. It's well done by Maddox McKee over to third. In the Top of the six, sends one out to deep left center. Briggs is back and makes a running catch on the warning track. Tagging to third goes Guazda. A long fly out off the bat of Heflin. Nearly carried that one all the way out of the parks. 
And that hits the padding of Molly Vandenbout. She'll take first base, second hit batter today. What he wants, and she, she wants, Poche awaits, and another 2-2. Grounded up the middle and throw for a base hit. Into score, Gwazda behind her, Murchilli, she's safe. Throw to second base, and Poche's in there. And a two RBI knock for Alexa Poche. The Colonels answer back here in the sixth. Another look here. A really nice piece of two strike hitting from Poche. It brings in a couple. There will be no shutout today. Rutherford pops it up. Shallow center, Briggs settles under and has it for the final out. But the Colonels do cash in. They get a couple across on the walk. 0-2. Lifted out to shallow center fields. And it drops in front of Heflin for a base hit. That is a three-hit day for Maddox McKee in the nine spot. Number 30 of LSU's season in 2024. Newland out to left, and that will fall for a base hit in front of Mackenzie Champagne. 1-1 to Briggs. A bunt again. Fielded the third by Kraus. Fires to first base. Just got her in time. Really nice bare hand play there by Kraus. Team the last couple of years. 2-0 to her. That's out to deep center field. Back goes Heflin. Reaches up and makes the over the shoulder catch. What a play in center fields. It'll score a run for LSU. As Newland comes in. But take a bow out in center. Reagan Heflin. A 3-1 to Gutierrez, and she smoked it. Deep to right field, back goes Anderson over her head, and it hits off her and rolls to the wall. Another run in for LSU, and to third base goes Gutierrez with a triple. Well, it was going to be a tough play all the way around for Anderson and right. Did everything she could to find it, but couldn't quite squeeze it in. And Gutierrez motors into third base. They're at Lamar and Beaumont over the weekend. Payoff pitch. And that just missed down and away on Walker, who draws her second walk. Now she's had three plate appearances, two walks. Grounded softly towards third. Cut off there. A spinning play, and it was dropped at first base. And it'll be an infield single off the bat of Petty. She gets her third hit today and her first RBI. 3-0 count on Leno. Rolls it softly, fielded by the pitcher in her glove still, and she tosses over to Poche for the final out. But LSU tacks on three more runs of insurance. 10-2 the lead for the seventh-ranked Tigers. From Poche made it a 7-2 game. And LSU responds right away. A bouncer off the bat of Anderson right to the first baseman, Gutierrez. And that is out number one. Bouncer right side, gloved there by Petty, throws the first two away. And this really has been a masterpiece from their junior right-hander. Just two hits today for Nichols. One-two from Chafin Higby. Swing and a miss. Got her on the heater upstairs. And Raylan Chafin finishes off her third complete game of the season. Her ninth career complete game. We've done it here today in Thibodeau in their first visit to Swanner Field since 2014. Seventh right LSU 10-2 over Nichols. Big thanks to our entire crew, led by producer Jeff Schneider. My name is Jack Benjamin. LSU wins it 10-2 over the Colonels.